when we have a new problem at hand that either is similar to the rod cutting problem or the activity selection problem, and say, for example, for our problem at hand, we have verified that it has or it fulfills the optimal substructure property. Then the next question that we will have at hand is, uh, should I apply greedy algorithm or should I try dynamic programming? Now, because the problem satisfies the optimal service structure property, we may sometimes be tempted to apply a greedy approach when dynamic programming is what's needed. And sometimes we might solve it using dynamic programming approach, whereas a greedy solution would be sufficient and in fact would run much faster giving results to us much sooner. To illustrate the subtle difference between these two approaches, as an example, let's see two variants of, of a classical optimization problem known as the knapsack problem. So we'll first see the zero one knapsack problem and then the fractional knapsack problem. In the zero one knapsack problem, we have a thief who's trying to rob a store and the thief finds N items. As shown in the picture, we have one, two, three, four, five items. And say, for example, the thief has a knapsack that can hold 15 kilograms. So we have the ith item that's worth VI dollars here represented by this ith item that's worth VI dollars and it weighs certain kilograms or certain pounds, so WI pounds. Now what the thief wants to do is take as valuable a load as possible but then he can carry at most a W weight. So this is the 15 weights that the thief can carry. The question here is which items should he take? Now he cannot take fractional items or one item more than once. So he can, to make up these 15 kilograms or 15 pounds, the thief can only take one item plus another item plus the other item and so on. In a way, this is more like a gold ingot problem where you have these gold ingots that cannot be broken down. You have to take them as they are pieces. Now the fractional knapsack problem is slightly different. So imagine the same thief trying to rob a place, a store where we still have many items worth certain amounts, for example, um, coins, total worth $1,000. We have gold ingots, total worth $4,000, and so on. But in this case, the thief can take fractions of items. So if the thief finds that certain items are more valuable, for example, if gold is more valuable, the thief can decide to take a certain portion of this gold. And then if the thief has finished taking all of this gold, the thief can decide to take the next valuable item and so on. In a way, this is like a gold dust problem where you have a dust of gold and you can take as much portion as you want. Now, which is a more difficult problem? It's something that's interesting to think about. Now, although these two problems appear very similar, we can solve the fractional knapsack problem using the greedy strategy, but we cannot solve the zero one knapsack problem using the greedy strategy. Of course, we can use DP for both problems, but the greedy approach is applicable only for the fractional knapsack problem. To solve the fractional knapsack problem, actually, it's very easy. Since we can easily calculate the value per pound or value per weight, so I have a total weight capacity of, let's say, for example, 400 pounds, and then what I can do is find from all of these various items that I can take, I can find an item that has the maximum value per pound. So maximum value per pound. Then we start by loading the item that has the maximum value per pound. And then say, for example, if this is the item that has the maximum value per pound, then we load this into the knapsack. And then if the knapsack is full, then we are done, the problem is solved. If the knapsack is not full, then we load all of these items into the knapsack and then find the next item with the next maximum value per pound. So solving the fractional knapsack problem using greedy strategy is pretty straightforward. Now let us see why the greedy strategy does not work for the zero one knapsack problem. Say we have a knapsack problem like, that looks like this. And say we have three items, item one, that's worth 10 pounds, item two, 20 pounds, item three, 30 pounds. 
This item is totally worth $60, $100, and $120. And say we have a knapsack that can hold 50 pounds. So if this was a zero one knapsack problem, then the possible solutions that we can imagine are, we can either take these two items, 10 plus 20, and then the next item, item three, would not fit in the knapsack. So this is one possible solution. The next possible solution is to take item number two and item number three. So this would fill up the knapsack, and this would be another possible solution. The next possible solution would be take, to take item one and item three. So this would be 40 pounds, and we cannot put 20 pounds after that. So this would be the next possible solution. Now, dynamic programming obviously would find the best solution, optimal solution here. Now, let's see if greedy strategy can find an optimal solution here. So with greedy strategy, what we do is we calculate the value per pound by dividing the amount of the pound by the total pound. So the value per pound, value per pound would be for the first item, this would be $1.60 divided by 10 equals $1.6 per pound. Similarly for item two, the value per pound would be $1.100 divided by 20, this would be $5, so $5 per pound. And similarly for item three, this would be $4. So then based on the greedy strategy, we obviously will pick the item that has the highest value per pound. And now because this is zero one knapsack problem, we'll first put this item one into the knapsack. And then the next item with the highest value per pound is item two, which has $5 value per pound. So we'll put item two into the knapsack. So we have one item, item one, item two into the knapsack. The remaining is 20 pounds, but we can't fit this item into the knapsack, so we are all done. So basically we end up selecting this solution, which is not the optimal solution using greedy strategy. So that's why greedy strategy will not work for solving this problem. However, if this problem was a fractional knapsack problem, then in that case, obviously, we will first select the item one, and that would fill up the 10 pounds of our knapsack, and then next item two, and then item three, and this would be definitely be the optimal solution if this was a fractional knapsack problem. 